shiny happy people and welcome to my channel. My name is Dominique and I am the cinema soloist where I am trying to combine my two biggest passions. One is fashion and the other one is movies. So what I'm going to try to do is invite you to join me on my adventures in sewing and what I'm trying to recreate or newly create, whichever applies. Sometimes the makes are inspired by movies, by celebrity looks, and sometimes they're just good looks that I want in my wardrobe. So today it is the first episode of non-cinema sewing, but it is a very special make that I am trying to go through. This is my birthday make. It's my birthday this month, so I am trying to make a dress for my birthday, which I've done in the past two years as well. This year it's gonna be a dress. Last year was uh, pants and blouse, and the year before it was another dress. So this year, I have decided to whip together a dress made out of two patterns from Gertie, from her Patreon uh, Charms Artist Collective collection. And it is going to be the Peggy Bodice combined with the Wonder Pencil Skirt. The fabric that I've chosen for this, I actually bought at Mood Fabrics. I will link it down below. So if you want it, you can check it out there. It, it is a dead stock fabric. So mind you, it's probably not go always going to be there. So grab it while you can, if you like it. This is a Balenciaga dead stock fabric. This is the cotton twill. I think I bought two yards of it. It might've been two and a half yards. And yes, this is what we'll do. We'll make a beautiful dress out of this for my birthday. So I invite you on this journey. I'm going to include a little bit of time lapse. I am first off tracing out the pattern and then alter the pattern. I think the only thing I'm going to do is extend the midriff of the bodice part because I'm 5'11 and usually those patterns are drafted for tinier women than I am and then we're gonna cut into this beauty and see what we can make with it so yes I am excited I hope you are as well we have cut the dress oh boy oh boy this was some tetris as you can see here this is all that's left of two yards of fabric so there isn't much it's it's really just snippets you, you can't do anything with this anymore it was already hard as it was because i wanted to make the three quarter sleeve version as you can see, I folded back the three-quarter sleeve. I'm going to make the short sleeve version. But at least I got the length of the skirt out of the fabric. And I purposely left this. Just so you can see 
this is the end of the yardage that I had. So this is not even, it might be just about an inch that this was longer. So I played a bit of Russian roulette with this one and I won. So the dress is cut. We'll see how the progress is going. Yes, I made it. I'm so happy. Oh. <laughs> Day two of my birthday make adventure. This is the current state of affairs. I, I usually like to do this when I cut out a pattern in fabric. I, I like to just pin it onto my mannequin just to roughly see what it's gonna look like. You may notice the midriff panels are not pinned on the mannequin, they were, but then I figured the extension that I did, the inch of extension, was too much. The midriff looked way too long. I mean, I am tall and I have a long torso, but not that long. So I, I'm gonna get rid of that. Thankfully I can, I, I checked the pattern pieces. I can just get rid of that extension again and see how that looks ultimately. It might be a little too short, but I'm gonna risk it for now. So yes, that is that. Day three, technically day four, but I didn't sew anything yesterday. So let's call this day three, shall we? Little update on the dress, just to show you what I did. I didn't film anything that I did two days ago because I was kind of winging it and just going with the flow. Didn't want to set up a camera. I'm just going to show you quickly, right? And here is the dress. This is what it currently looks like. So mainly what I did was put together the skirt and I've already installed the invisible zipper in the front, which was easier than I thought it would be. But let me quickly show you. What happened was I did bias bind everything because while the skirt is lined, I know that it will be open on the bottom. So the um, hem of the lining is not attached to the full hem of the skirt. So technically all your raw seams are still kind of open. So I wanted to make sure that everything's clean. That's just how I roll on this. And then we have the bodice, which I have constructed the front. There is a gusset in the front part. I am working on the back part at the moment, which is right here. So I'm preparing on that. And to make my life even more difficult, I am actually going to fully line the bodice. The pattern does not have lining. The, the bodice is actually unlined. Interestingly enough, the pattern for the skirt is lined. So I have made the executive decision to line both. And so here's the bodice lining. And I will also wing that as I go. Here is also the skirt lining, which I prepared two days ago. And I French seamed everything again for cleaner finish. So the actual fabric is bias bound and this is French seamed. This is what it looks like right now. Let's see how far we get tonight. Status update, day five, probably. I didn't so much last night and I didn't want to film it. So we are now here on potentially day five, but the good news is we have the dress assembled, at least the outer shell. I just put in the invisible zip in the back and now I've put it on just to 
see how it fits so i'm going to show you quickly this is the dress i like the bodice the bodice is really good in terms of fit this already this doesn't need any adjustments and i made the right call initially i was extending the midriff by an inch and i found that way too long in the end i opted for one centimeter and now it's just sitting on my natural waist which is great the only thing i want to do is i do want to trim off a little bit on the sides of the skirt because i think i can get away with it as this is like really stretchy as you can see also just showing quickly we have the zipper installed so yeah so we can also go as you can see it really we tip you down a little this is better so you can now see almost to the hem of the skirt so yes this is the dress for now see the back I'm happy with this. It is certainly a lot better than what Balenciaga did with the fabric in the fall 2020 collection. I had to, I had to just Google and see what they originally did. And I was like, yeah, I can do better. I think I'm, I'm doing better if I can say so myself. We are moving ahead with the lining. I've prepped the lining. Now it's about installing everything and just finalizing the dress. I'm hoping to get through with this today. I want to invite you on this journey. So let's go. Hello, good morning. It's Sunday, day six, I guess. I had a bit of a mishap yesterday. Everything you saw in, in the time lapse that I did, I practically had to undo again. Because funny enough, and this has never happened to me before, I feel right now with this dress like I'm sewing my first piece ever. I managed to sew the skirt lining upside down to the bodice, including the facing. So everything was the wrong side around. And I only realized when I wanted to start working on the back end of the skirt, I was like, where, where's the, where's the vent part of the lining? And then, yeah, I, I saw what happened. So I had to undo everything. What adds to the tragedy here is because I did the hem, which was actually the top of the skirt, I had trimmed off an inch and then folded in like five eighths of an inch. <laughs> and yeah, so I lost the top of the skirt. And at first I was like, okay, that's it. I have to recut everything and, and redo the skirt. Luckily though, since you have the facing of the skirt, I've decided to make this the connecting part between the bodice and the skirt. So not use the facing on top of the lining, but use, use it as a connecting part. And it, it works lengthwise. I, I checked that works. So I'm extremely lucky on that. But yeah, I redid everything. Now at the point where I can finally do the vent on the skirt. So let's see how that goes. I'm curious to see what might be another mishap. I hope there are no further mishaps. I really want to be done with this dress at this point. So yeah, putting you on time lapse again. Let's do this.
update time. I am starting to get really, really annoyed with this dress, to be honest. I think I have some progress. I can show you. I did insert the lining. The back vent isn't right. There's something wrong. I need to figure this out. I think I know what it is, but I need to figure that out. The back zipper lining is in. That works. I've inserted the facing. I understitched the neckline, so that all works fine. And then there is this <laughs> zipper on the skirt. Now I did put in the lining, I stitched it against the zipper and then it looked messy when I put it on, like it was pulling like to here. I was like, what is this? What is this? So I opened this up again and yeah, um, like with this dress, everything that can go wrong does go wrong because when I opened it up, I found out what the problem was. I put in the slit on the wrong side. <laughs> on a brighter note, I can just open this up, close the other side, and then finish this off, and it's okay. But seriously, right now, I think like this is the first piece I've ever sewn. I've never had that many struggles with a dress, like with this one. I don't know what's going on. It might be the curse of 2023. I hope it isn't because this is the first piece this year that I'm sewing. And if this goes on like that, I'm going to call it quits on sewing. I'm telling you up front. I do not want to invest that much time. Seriously, this is too much, but it looks good. It feels nice. It fits better. I didn't mention like when I close this again, I did not mention I have significantly slim this dress so i took in over an inch on each side and then in the back i took in a little bit as well so ignore the vent for now but here it fits a lot better so there's no real bulk here anymore there was a lot of bulk in the back and i think it's the fabric it's not the pattern because if I made this from a woven without stretch, it would behave differently and then I would be a straight size eight. But this one is more like I'm a size six. But in the bodice, funny enough, I'm an eight. So this one fits really well, actually. At least in my humble opinion. Also in the back is, yeah. It does look good, but it's a pain in the butt. I don't like dresses to be a pain in the butt. I like them to go smooth, though in fairness, my makes never go really smoothly, but that's okay. We carry on. We're gonna get this finished today, all right? Hello again. I am coming to you from a very different place. This is not home, obviously. Uh, I'm right now on my birthday trip in Washington, D.C., and this is my little Airbnb where I'm staying just to wrap up this video tomorrow is my birthday you're gonna see a couple of clips probably inserted and a couple of pictures of my doodle dress now I must say this was some kind of so I mean you've seen it now from the from the whole progression going through it I really had doubts I would like this in the end because I got very frustrated while sewing it. But as soon as I actually put it on when it was finished, I really, really loved it. I've already worn it before my birthday, just for your info. There was an event from work where I was able to wear it out. And it was just like, yeah, it's now or never. <laughs> the first time wearing it was uh, on that event. And I'm gonna wear it tomorrow. I really like this. The material is great, especially if you want something like the combination of the Peggy bodice with the Wanda dress. A very tight fitted skirt. I 
think that because it is a stretch, it really gives you a lot of freedom and movement. I don't need to worry if I'm, you know, driving, if I sit in a car, getting out, getting in, all that good stuff. And also for the bodice, that worked out really well. The only modification that I did was lengthening it by one centimeter in the midriff. And yeah, this is a really cool dress. I will make more of them in future. So I hope you have enjoyed seeing what I did. This is full disclosure, kind of a test video. I know I have to work on certain things. I will get better equipment also in terms of sound. Right now I don't have equipment. So this is really just uh, getting the ball rolling. If you enjoyed this, uh, give me a thumbs up. Um, you can comment, let me know what you think about the final result. Uh, I would appreciate if you want to follow me along on the journey of the Cinema Sewers, please subscribe and I will see you again very, very soon for the first episode of a very special series, which I cannot wait to share with you. Until then, stay safe, take care and have a good one. Bye bye.